That's crazy. Okay, well, we got past them, it seems, but... You do fine, fine baby, my love. love. I'm trying. It's all right. I know, I know you tried. tried. I'm, I'm waiting, waiting for, for you. you. Great. I, I want, want you, you to be there, there when... when... <coughs> Don't say it. It's all in our head. 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 You are right here. here. Whoa. So nice. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. So many of these sections that we just need to squeeze through. Looks like this is probably where they would have stored it. And it's not looking good. Or maybe it is looking good. Whoa. No way. Uh-oh. Get in the thing! Get in the thing! Wow. And there's more that we could have got, too. I don't know how we're not dead. Come on! Guys, uh, we have we have it. We actually have it. I didn't think we were gonna find anything, and we have it. <laughs> now we just have to not die. Oh no. There's the truck. Holy frick. again. Get up, quick! 
he's asleep. Better leave them be when they get like this. <laughs> it's just a straight drive from now on. He tried to teach me to drive, but... He just went out like this. What do you mean, just went out like this? Oh, you gotta be shitting me. He used his, uh, he used his, um, injector on us. We're moving again. No. Oh my god. Miller. He found the map. Said that was a true hero. And that he saved us all. All this time I'm so worried about Anna, didn't even think about Miller, but why would I? Am I going the right way here? I hope so. I can't see anything. And carriages too! Everything's blocked! No, 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 no. No blacking out. No, 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 no. Hey, yeah, exactly. Smack me. Keep me up. Keep me up. Please, don't fall asleep. I won't. I'm not going to. Frick. What's happening? And some meds. Safe. Look at Miller. He has no idea.
see Aurora coming through? Holy moly. Yup. Look at the snow plow in the front. <laughs> I think I got snow in my eye. Irradiated badly, and I couldn't even get a reading on the colonel's body. The oh. counter goes off the scale. <sighs> Hold on, Archie. We'll fix you just fine. How could this happen? Focus, Katya. What do we do? Tell us. <gasps> An emergency transfusion. We must give him as much blood as we can. Transfusion it is then. Will it save him? It will keep him alive for a little longer, as long as there is blood. What's his blood type? Hey, be positive. We could give him any type. Get everyone here. Don't go to sleep, Archer. <gasps> no, you can't go to sleep now. Whoa. Yeah, hello there, Archer. How about we take a walk? <laughs> Staying underground grew old. I don't know about that. That's it, Stepan. You can't give more. Look! He's up! Can you hear me, Artyom? Don't you dare die on us. Just don't you dare. You've got a whole life ahead of you. And kids! So fight for it. Fight! Why did you stop? <laughs> Didn't you always want to go outside? Didn't you oh, open man. that airlock at the Botanical Gardens? This place is much better. No, no, I don't think so. I'm not ready. This isn't your destination, Artyom. You're not there yet. Not even close. It's not your station. It's just a dead end. Not your goal. Can you hear me? Yes, your Mac. Give me your hand. Oh, you're burning up. Well, I... I hope this old man's blood will do something about that that <laughs> hot head of yours, eh? <laughs> yeah, me too. Come on, let's go. Okay, my friend. Time to get some quality <laughs> blood in that body of yours, eh? Yeah, for sure. This, ah, you'll be up in no time. Or I'll eat my own shoes, eh? You know, I finally feel like I belong somewhere. I am no longer an outsider. You keep us together, Artyom. You must survive for all of our sakes. Let's go to the summit. Oh, look at the tree out there. Hear me, Artyom. You've got a wife you need to work on making kids with. <laughs> and my fiance is still in Moscow. We still have to stir some shit up back in the metro, so don't you fucking dare die here. That's fair. Look, Artem. Lake Baikal ah, makes you believe real life is possible. Not the petty rat race we had back in the metro. I just. just have to say. You were right, Artyom. Right for wanting to get us out. Bring us here. And I, the old fool, I was simply afraid. Afraid of life, as I see now. <gasps> Look! He's smiling! Smiling in his sleep! 
He even seems to say something. It's his fever talking. He's burning up. This world is worth giving everything up for, Artyom. <laughs> you were always ready, and I uh, was too attached to my position in the rat race. I'm sorry. Sorry for what happened to Anna. Sorry for blaming you. <sighs> Had I not pumped everyone up about the occupying forces, she'd never have fallen there. Artyom. I beg you, don't die. Oh, man. Stay with me, please. I don't want a life if you're not a part of it. Can you hear me? Look at me, Artyom. Look at me, please. Yes, about Anna. You will have to look out for her. Now that I can't anymore. I don't care if you go to that ocean. Just stay with her. <coughs> I'm keeping her out. She can barely stand herself, but she's ready to give all her blood to him. At least the medicine helped. It's a miracle. I have a daughter, but I also wanted a son. A really stubborn one, just like me. Like you. I really like this place. It's so clean. I'd like to stay here forever. Could you arrange that for me? Hmm? <laughs> and the most important thing... My time's up, Artyom. It's your turn now. Step up. Lead them. Just remember that I created the Order to save people. All people, Artyom. Don't forget that. Because I somehow did. Goodbye. Commander, time to wake up. Come on. Rise and shine, son. Shit. That's crazy. The fever is subsiding. I think he's getting better. Now he needs some rest. You too, Anna. We've got hope now. I just realized too, um, Krill and Nastia are going to be best buds, maybe more as they get older too. They're probably the same We age. found the place I saw in my dream. That hill on the shores of Baikal where Miller took me. A clean place, just like he said. Everything around is clean. Wow. We found ourselves a home. A home at the foot of a hill, overlooking a lake. A home where we could raise our children, who will be born not in the damp and dark tunnels, but under blue sky and bright sun. Ladies and gentlemen, as the ranking officer, I propose a motion to entrust the duty of commanding the order to our job. <laughs> I got shivers, man. Oh. What would your orders be, sir? Relax. I would say we all go home. Whoa, that's cool. We're talking, but actually. This home seems too large for just us. You know, the colonel once told me he created the order to save people. All of them. I say it's time we perform this duty. Wow, man, that's that was very touching. That was very touching. What an amazing series. Ah, oh, that's so good. I loved it. This was really fun. Really a great, really just a great experience. Amazing story, cool characters. Lots of, um, you know, for like a quote unquote, I shouldn't even quote unquote it. It's a first person shooter, right? For a first-person shooter, whoa, this was uh, an exceptional, exceptional ride from Metro 2033 to Last Light to this. Just absolutely amazing. What I particularly liked about this is um, the pacing. 
there was like fast moments, slow moments, and uh, everything in between. And the time that you get to spend with people on the Aurora was super cool. Uh, lots of conversations that were happening that you could take part in. The the game itself, like the gunplay was fun, finding different guns, finding new upgrades for your suit and for your guns was like the coolest feeling because you felt like it was really rare, you know? So you, you found something you're like, yes. Bullets were tight. Um, I like the ability to craft stuff wherever we wanted, like really cool improvements. I, I think the... I think the series was probably best in the more controlled areas. Um, you could argue that having some of those open world sections were kind of... They were nice to have, but I feel like some of them got a bit of a... A bit sloggy feeling, if that makes sense. Sloggy in the sense it's like, okay, we're gonna go check this thing, and this thing, and this thing. And I didn't feel like enough of them were rewarding to check out. Some of them definitely were. But there was a lot where you'd go and it'd be like a pack of mutants and then you'd find some scraps and you're like, okay, is that it? Um, but when we when we got into the more on, ra on rails sections, like the dead city there at the end, that is like the metro experience that I loved. I, I love that in the first two games. I love that in this game. And uh, I liked more of those guided missions. Um, I think that that's where these guys really, really shine. I imagine... I imagine this is the the end of Exodus, but I don't know if like I whatever this company does in the future, I'll be I'll be checking out for sure because I had such an amazing time in this game and uh, this series as a whole. And then obviously, nice happy ending. I assume there's multiple endings. Um, I don't know if there's a way that Miller survives. But now our team's in control, so they could theoretically do more games where like we're the head of the order. Kinda might feel weird, but I'd be I'd be open to seeing what they do. But yeah, great experience overall. I loved I loved it. I, I enjoyed sitting down and for me as a as a person that records these games, there's something to be said for the fact that you're thinking about the game outside of the game. And when I sit down to record, I'm like excited, I'm ready, and then I leave and I'm like, oh, I can't wait to go back and just like finish and like like play it, you know? Um, and that's what this game kind of brought for me, so. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope I did it justice. Um, if I could do it again, there's probably... I would probably not go all stealth, because I think it was a little bit slow. Uh, there were probably more times where we could have just, like, blasted people down and had, like, a little bit more fun with the guns and stuff. But, uh, trying it... Trying it, uh, stealthily, at least as much as possible, was, uh, a nice challenge. And there were sections where he did really well, and there were sections where it was just like, okay, well, here we go. And uh, it was still it was still good fun along the way. So really hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, please, if you're interested in uh, future playthroughs from me, if you haven't subscribed, please do. I would love that. And if you guys have suggestions of upcoming games, games that are coming out soon, you'd like to watch, uh, please let me know. I'm open to all different things. Uh, Sekiro is going to be coming up soonish. Um, by the time you guys see this, I may have put up a video of a game called The Occupation. It's a weird one, but you might be interested in checking that out. And, uh, we'll just see what else happens over the next little while, so, yeah. I'll see if there's an after credit scene here, and if there is, great. If not, thank you guys again, and, uh, I really appreciate the support. I appreciate if you're new here, if you've been around for a long time. Um, really makes a big difference to me, and I just am happy that you guys watch the videos, and I hope you get some joy out of them, so... Take care of each other.